Shall I start? Yes, you can start. Yes. Good morning, Madam President and fellow Toastmasters. Starting over or turning over a new leaf can be scary because it's all about change. But if you want to improve and to evolve as a person, you have to move forward. Whether that's a new relationship, a new house, or a fresh look at your life and routines, I am sure these new beautiful quotes, new beginning beautiful quotes will encourage and inspire you to focus on your positives. Welcome to 391st, 391st chapter meeting of Toastmaster Club of Pune Northwest. I am Tulsi, Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. By profession, I am a banker and working with Union Bank of India. I love to do yoga, sketching, gardening, etc. As everybody in life, there has a mission to achieve their goals. Likewise, our Toastmaster Club also has a mission. The mission of our Toastmaster Club is to provide mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every member has the opportunity to develop communication and leadership skills, which in turn foster self-confidence and personal growth. There are some basic rules for this meeting. Let me explain. Please turn off your cell phones or set them at silent mode. Please mute your microphone unless instructed by Toastmaster of the day. Do not share your screen unless it is instructed by TMOD. Kindly refrain from the movements that distract the speaker. In case if you need to move, please turn off your video in advance. You can use emojis, thumbs up, and claps to react throughout the meeting. For role players, and especially for speakers, it is advised to pin the timer window so they can see the timer throughout the meeting. When you begin speaking, the correct protocol is that you have to greet in following manner. Good morning, Madam President, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. And always maintain a broad smile throughout the meeting. Now let, let us begin the round of introduction of the guest in this meeting. Is there any guest online or offline? In the offline mode, there is no guest, but uh, in the online mode, I'm seeing someone named Munish. Munish, yeah, I can see him. Munish, can you hear, hear me? Hello? Yeah, Tulsi, we can hear you on the virtual mode. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, all. Good morning. Munish, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Munish from Punjab and uh, I am from Central Noted Toastmasters Club. Okay. So I have joined the uh, club almost one year back and now I have, I'm taking some leadership roles in the club. So I just got, got a chance uh, to visit this club. So I'm just here for that. Yeah. Welcome and good morning. Good morning. Is there any more guest? I'm not too Okay, thank you. Now let me introduce Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ashutosh, who is a program manager at Bajaj Auto. He loves to meet new people. So let's welcome Toastmaster Ashutosh. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Elsia, for my warm introduction. I am. Uh, sorry, Toastmaster Tulsi. Uh, uh, now, today, uh, a very warm welcome to all the Toastmasters and the guests. Today's theme is a new beginning. So, I wanted to understand. From this word, a new beginning, what you understood? If you can uh, tell me what does new beginning mean to you? Uh, you? Yes. So, for me, new beginning is that like every day is new beginning, every second is new beginning. So, it's like 
just living in the moment i feel this is the new beginning because we don't know what will happen in the next one minute so i feel so i'm standing here and explaining so this is also a new beginning for me okay great uh, chandra what do you feel about what is new beginning uh, for me new beginning is the chance to do something new chance to improvise or like the exact moment as postmaster you said could be the new beginning for you this meeting is the new beginning for us so every moment is a chance to make an impact on your life on other side so that is what something new beginning is for me correct so uh, yes so
for something to begin on a positive note, we need to look a bit back and see that what have we left behind? What footprints have we left behind? Are there something to walk again on or are there something to improvise upon? So regarding that, I would be talking more when I would be going with my closing address as a presiding officer. Till then, I would again pass on the control to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ashutosh. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, now we will like to call our general evaluator for today's meeting, Toastmaster Swati, who will be introducing to her tag and her tag team. Uh, so, uh, Toastmaster Swati. I think Toastmaster Swati is traveling, so might take some time. So, it's okay if you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a second. Okay, so our first role player for today's meeting, who will be keep keeping an account of to total time, uh, is Toastmaster Mayuris. So, uh, Toastmaster Mayuris. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster of the day. So, as, so, Madam President, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests, I'll be working as a timer today. As a timer, my role is to time the speeches, the table topics, and the evaluations. So, for that purpose, I have some timer cards with me. For a speech, when five minutes are over, I'll be showing the timer card as green. On completion of six minutes, I'll be showing the timer card as yellow. And on completion of seven minutes, I'll be showing the timer card as red. For the icebreaker speeches, this is the same timing to go for four minutes, five minutes, and six minutes. For the table topics, the timing is a one minute for green, two minutes, one and a half minutes for yellow, and two minutes for red card. For evaluation, the timing limit will be two minutes for green, two and a half minutes for yellow, and three minutes for the red card. In all the speeches and all evaluations, a 30 minutes of 30 seconds of this period will be given so that the speaker will be able to complete without her address. That's it for me. Over to you, Postmaster. Okay. Okay, so Postmaster Swati is here, general evaluator. So I would like to hand over the control to Postmaster Swati. Hello, everyone. A very great Sunday morning. Sorry for being late because I went to the Kaikwad classes over there and the venue was over here. So, as a general evaluator today, my role is to evaluate the overall meeting and the role players, the specific meeting, and the overall flow of the meeting in general. And I have my tag team in ready, but I think the timer has already been introduced. But still, I'll come up with my report at the end of the meeting. And as the timer has already been introduced by the TMOD, I would not uh, disrupt the flow or I would not interrupt the flow. I would hand it over for the TMOD to introduce the further role players. Now we would like to uh, call upon our app counter, Toastmaster Nilesh, who will be introducing his role for the today's meeting. Thank you, Toastmaster, for the day. Uh, good morning, everyone. I would like to give a small story. I am working professional. Uh, my hobby is uh, uh, reading books, you know, uh, uh, and uh, I am staying nearby. Uh, you must be thinking why I am doing this. Uh, this is something, my role for today. I am going to count filler words like mm, uh, uh, as well as overused words like you know, but so. And I will be presenting my report at the end of the session. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Nilesh, for explaining your role. Now, we'd like to call Toastmaster uh, mm -hmm. Pradeep. Uh, he will be uh, primary for today's meeting. Am I audible? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah, good morning, Madam President, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I am Toastmaster Pradeep. I am playing today role for like a grammarian. As the language evaluator, I'll be noting down the good uses as well as the poor uses of the English language used in this meeting. And I will provide the correct meaning of that and correct uses of that English language. So hereafter, I would like to introduce the word of the day. The word of the day is outset. That is a noun that is used as a noun. Outset meaning means beginning or starting. As the theme itself is their new beginning. So I have chosen that, that uh, word of the day as an outset. And so outset, I would like to give some example. For the today's meeting, like uh, from the starting, like Sergeant at a star, uh, Sergeant at Arm has outset the meeting with uh, good emphasis and the good like energy. Even our Toastmaster of the day also has started the meeting, outset the meeting with the emphasis and like good energy. And the phrase of the day is like just around the corner. That, that means something is near to the time frame or space. So just around the corner, I would like to give an example for uh, like uh, just around the corner. So our Toastmasters Humorous SPS contest is just around the corner. And our new XCOM role is they are going to start their session just around the corner. So these are the word of the day and the phrase of the day. And I would like to uh, take some try from audiences. If anybody would like to try the word of the day and the phrase of the day. Yeah, no, I think marathon seems very hard at the outset. However, if you persist, the success waits just around the corner. Very nice. Yeah, you can do it. Yes, addition. Yes, so uh, at the onset of year 2020, no one expected how gruesome the year is going to be. That is, that is for uh, the word of the day and for phrase of the day, players have to bring in their A game as the Cricket World Cup is just around the corner. Anybody else would like to try? Yeah, I would like to outside into the skills and then success will be just around the corner. Very nice, very nice. So uh, I'd like to say that if anybody is using like word of the day or phrase of the day, the person is available in between so they can show the thumbs up and the participant who are joining through like uh, virtual mode so they can show the emoji as thumbs up. So once, up, once up, again after that, generally we're going to call to me and I'll come with the, my report. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Pradeep. So uh, for the benefit of our guest and the entire team sitting right here, uh, let me speak about the, how the meeting will flow. So our total program for today's meeting is divided into four halves. So first we uh, will have a prepared speech session where speakers will come with the prepared speech. They have been given a time to prepare on a topic, a topic based on the following that they have selected. And on that, they are going to deliver their speech. The second uh, will be a fun activity because this time we are going to have the, uh, observe a transition phase where the past XCOM members will be passing their baton to the new XCOM members. So we'll try to bring some kind of fun elements in, in the today's meeting. So our third part will be uh, one of the important parts of our Toastmasters meeting, that's table topic session, where all the speakers will be given an opportunity to speak on their feet, to be impromptu and deliver their speech. On a given topic and the fourth part that is the most important is the evaluation evaluation of the speakers evaluation of the entire meeting and evaluation of all the rule breakers that they have what they have taken the rule and based from those feedbacks we, we, we can take our learning to the next level so with this now we'll start uh, yeah uh, just one minute yeah, sure. I'm sorry to interrupt people. Uh, I just received a request from one of our veterans and he is one of the chartered members of our club, DTM Vinod Sharma sir. And he has got all the acc accolades that one needs to get at Toastmasters. He is the past area director, he is the past division director on the way to become the DTM for the second time. And he is here to say something as it's our last meeting as our present XCOM. 
So I would like to pass the control to our very own Vinod Sharma sir. Over to you sir. Uh, thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Meenal, and uh, it's indeed a pleasure to be with you on Sunday morning. I can see a new faces, but new leaders for the coming term. And I want to give congratulations to Meenal and his her team because of the great successful term they have come. They are completing today, and uh, many of this. Uh, there were a lot of challenges last six months. but that's how these challenges help us to lead and grow further so i i'm 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 pretty sure that meena has just done the justice with her role and uh, uh, under her tenure we have created history now many members who joined recently or maybe a uh, members who joined uh, past year this club has created history by giving a uh, three district leader that is area directors in this current term not only that but two five district they apply five members they applied for the district officers three selected and two are in the work of getting the main role in the district main role in the district even though they did not select but district is so kind enough that pretty sure they will get a better role than what this area director role is and one more history that created is our health, uh, dist, uh, district director elect that is dtm seema rani is also from this club so she is the first member to achieve this milestone and we all are proud of uh, being a member of this proud club so this is all about district officers now what is there for the members or what is there for the speakers and what is there for the role players for the coming term right this club is seven and a half years old club right it started in uh, on 1st january 2015 and uh, as distinguished minal said that i am a chartered member as well as played uh, many roles i am not away from this club i am around this club only and uh, i'll try to attend many meetings do you feel that in seven and a half years there were no challenges not at all there were challenges in every time there are challenges but it's our leadership how we should come how should we should overcome those challenges opportunities right now how we can make the meetings qualitative number one we had to be a persistent we had to be perseverance in the attending the meetings quantity does matters but what matters the most is the quality of the every role player every role player should learn from their role on a particular day and at the end of the meeting they should sit and calmly and think about and ask for the feedbacks and whatever they get the feedbacks in evaluation or offline or online take those feedbacks sincerely and uh, apply those feedbacks in your role and try to take that role after three four meetings for the new members please go through this system i am pretty sure at the outset of this new excom has taken its our duty to support them and i am pretty sure that we all are there and with their great efforts minal swati madam they have did a lot of hard work and we are also looking for their response their support to this club including myself if we'll go through this system and we'll support each other the success is just around the corner over to you ashutosh thank you very much and thanks for giving me a chance to speak thank you master vinod for your words so now what we understood that in our life sometime we have started something for the very very first time in movies or in stories something will come to an end this is where our life differ from the movies and stories because in life nothing ends if something stops doesn't end new thing will start from there right so there is a break of some activity and new thing will start for example if i was in some job then i will stop working from there and will make a new beginning a new job 
in a new organization. Maybe if I'm in Pune today, sometime I will be in a new city. So I will be starting something new over there. Then any of, uh, I think all of us vaguely remember their first day at school and how many uh, of us cried. If some, okay, uh, most of us cried on that day. Given a chance today, if we have been asked to go back to the school again, will we cry again? No. 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 Right. So reason why we do not cry this time, because we know that school has given us an ample opportunity. We met new friends, we met new uh, into new situations, uh, we learned many more things. So whenever we are going to start something new, because we don't know what is going to unfold for us in future, Sometimes we are kind of scary, we, uh, hesitant to start something new. But when we know what is going to happen for us in the coming future, definitely we go there with lots of energy and enthusiasm. And because we know that what had happened to us earlier, now we can take a learning from there and we will not cry or we will not restrict ourselves to go back to that place again. Similarly, whatever we are going to do for the very, for the very first time, we have to be with that much of energy, that much of vigor, because definitely future is going to unfold something very new for us, and that will be a life learning for us. Uh, now onward, I would like to call our first speaker, who is Sneha. And uh, for Sneha's speech, uh, we have the evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Abhishek, who will be uh, taking it further from here. So, Toastmaster Abhishek. Uh, sorry, I got a call. So, to, uh, got this. Can you come again? Yeah. Okay, sure. So uh, this is the uh, speech from motivational strategy level one and speech two. Uh, this is from the new pathway that was recently introduced in the Toastmasters uh, pathway manual. The purpose for this project is to learn and review basic method for writing a speech with a defined purpose and to present a well-organized speech on any topic. So all the best to my target speaker and over to Toastmaster today. Uh, so, uh, our first speaker, Toastmaster Snehal, you don't want it until you want it. Toastmaster Snehal, you don't want until you want it. Uh, good morning. Uh, my topic is you don't want it until you really want it. So um, I am going to tell you all about a story of a Bollywood star who has made uh, her Bollywood career on her own without any part part of the industry. So recently she has a French. So, any guesses see if you want to make one? Yes. yes, that is absolutely right. So, um, in early ages of my college, I was uh, actually opened my Facebook account. And uh, at that point of time, we don't used to set up our own profile salary. So, I used her profile as my TV. And uh, I somehow found it as very inspiring to me. And I used to see some spark in her, in her eyes. So uh, I googled on it and then further I come to know that she's Miss World also. And so uh, that is what I used to follow her later on. Um, good morning all, uh, uh, Madam President, Toastmaster of the day, uh, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Good morning. So, um, yes. so Priyanka Chopra is born in the year 1984 uh, in the city Chaujitpur. From her childhood only, uh, childhood only, she was used to be the naughtiest kid in her house. 
because of her bad behavior, her parents sent her to the boarding school. Uh, that was very hard decision for her family and her. But as there is a saying, everything comes with a price. We have to pay something in order to get something. So that experience was uh, taught her many things, like how to deal with different people, how to handle your own problems, and how to be, uh, how to carry your confidence. That is what she was uh, uh, get to know in the boarding school. I have one photo uh, of her uh, in which she was in boarding school. So this is this is the one in which she was uh, at the competition. In order to just show you all uh, how she was there at boarding school, that is the one. Uh, let me tell you a very interesting story of her application to Miss India. Uh, when she was in seven, when she was in uh, seventeen years old, uh, she had some plans for the aeronautical engineering in Australia. Uh, she don't have anything in, in her mind to apply for the uh, beauty contest and all. But her brother was reading uh, the Times India magazine and he came up with the ad of the contest of Miss India. So he, he talked to his mother and uh, he asked like, Mommy, is uh, Didi 17 years old? His mommy told, yes, she is. And uh, then he asked like, is she beautiful? Her, uh, his mother told yes. So why, why can't we apply for the competition? Then they agreed and either, even without knowing her no, they applied for that competition and his father also don't know about that. And luckily she got selected in it. And the rest is the history for us. So uh, when she went to Delhi for that competition in that uh, congested hall, she, she was surrounded with many tall and beautiful girls. So she asked her mother, uh, I think this is very difficult for me. I don't think I will be able to carry this. So her mother told her that, uh, why you are so much nervous? Let's give it a chance. If you get selected, that will be a plus point. If not, then assume that this as a beautiful trip to Delhi. Nothing else. We all will be get to forget about this. Uh, then she told, then she uh, thought herself that let's try, give it a chance for this. And uh, later on, she got uh, selected in that, the first round. She later on told that uh, what the other girls carried is like they have beautiful, they were tall, but what I carried in myself is a lot of confidence which I have. So that is very, very plus point in me. That behavior, uh, she told that whenever you try, you give your 120%. Anything you want to try, give your uh, 120 for everything. Uh, so apart from that, she was actually in, in, in her Bollywood career also, she tried many different roles, which inspired her and which motivated her. And uh, then she was like, <clears throat> Why, why, why should I limit myself to Bollywood? Let's try for Bollywood too. Then she went and there um, on her, onto her English accents and her Hollywood appearances, she improved a lot. She was actually a part of, uh, uh, she fought in the Bollywood for the equality phase of male and female. As we are saying that uh, women and male are uh, equally contributing towards the movie. Then why shouldn't only male will be get uh, paid more? Why not the female? So she fought for that, and she is part of UNICEF also, which is the US-based uh, organization which are helping women to, uh, to fight for their rights in socially as well as in the education. Uh, apart from that, uh, the story which. Uh, 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 actually, her father supported her a lot in this. Uh, he used to tell her that don't be get afraid for anything. Mistakes are part of evolution. So mistakes are important, but what you are learning after the mistake, that is the main part of the uh, your journey. And uh, yes, so that is what. And with this, I would like to tell you all that always have big dreams in your life. Always have a passion to achieve them. Always be ambitious. 
uh, always have a vision for this. And uh, yes, you don't want it until you really want it. That is what the conclusion I would like to say. Uh, what a great speech and uh, many more things that I didn't know about Priyanka Chopra that I got to know now only. So uh, to move ahead, our next speaker is uh, DTM Toastmaster Meenal. To evaluate her speech, uh, we have another veteran uh, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Venkatesh. So Toastmaster Venkatesh will come and explain about her project and that objective. Thank you, Toastmaster Venkatesh. Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster of the day. Presiding officer, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmaster, and dear guests. Very good morning. The objective of distinguished Toastmaster Meena's speech is to learn different negotiations and strategies which are getting used in the negotiations in life and share some of the aspect based on her experience in the life. I wish all the best to distinguished Toastmaster Meena. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. So, the title of Toastmaster Meena's speech, DTM Toastmaster Meena's speech, is Big Fat Wedding to Waste or Invest. So, Toastmaster Meena, Big Fat Wedding to Waste or Invest. Over to you. Before I start, let me ask you here, which is the biggest festival of India? Okay. Indian weddings. Big fat Indian weddings. And this is the festival which each and every Indian religiously celebrates. In spite of he having that much of money to shell out or not, then he or she will find various ways to gather that money and then put it in his son's or daughter's wedding without even checking whether it's worth it or not. Now, in my case, I had a different scenario because in my family, there was a revolutionary and that was my uncle. He had gone for court marriage way back in the year 1976. And when we used to all gather during the summer vacations and see all those wedding photographs, I could see only one photograph of his and my aunties garlanding each other. That's it. And I used to be curious, why is there only one photograph of yours? What's the problem? He said, Beta, it was a court marriage. Then I didn't know anything like court marriage at that time. It was a six or seven standard. Order. Then he said that uh, those who cannot afford a lavish wedding go for a court marriage. I said, were you that poor? If I'm not wrong, you're a banker. Then what prohibited you from going for a lavish marriage? <laughs> then he said, Beta, that is not the case. The thing you know that, that your grandfather passed away in the year 1968 and we literally struggled to meet the two ends meet for the next four to five years till actually the pension started flowing and we all started working. So we could actually understand the value of each and every penny. And around me, I have seen many people spending lavishly on weddings. And after that, the next day, all the gutters used to be choked with the food that was not consumed. And then we used to think that if this person had approached us, because my uncle, including my uncle, it was a family of seven people, my grandmom and the six children. So he said that instead of that, if that food would have been given to us, then we would have ate full. From that time, I had made up my mind that the moment I get married, I'm not going to spend this lavishly on the weddings. Then I asked my uncle, okay, the thought is good. But then... How will the banquet halls and other, all the venues survive? How will they make business out of it? He said, Meta, there is a reason behind it. Initially, when this lavish weddings used to happen, it only used to be the business families because they wanted to increase their visibility. We didn't have something known as the digital marketing that we have now. At that time, they wanted to increase their social presence. So weddings, occasions was the only moment that used to bring them together. But what with us? We call only our family members, our extended family members who we had not even met in these many years and they throw up at our weddings. What's the use? No use. They also spend, we also end up spending. And during the wedding, we don't even remember that we had met them. They tell us after a few months, we had attended your wedding. We don't even know had they really attended or not. So, 
So instead of that, I thought of going for a simple wedding. And even I had made up my mind that the moment I get married, I am also going to have a budget wedding. Means I told my parents one fine day, I will go for a registered marriage. My parents, my mother was about to slap me. She said, "You are our only child. How dare you say that you are going to go for a budget marriage?" I said, "What's the problem? You just want me to get married, right? Be it in any ways." And you are anyways going to feature as a mom in in my wedding. I'm not going to throw you out, okay? So fine. She said, if the groom side doesn't agree, I said that is where the negotiation comes into picture. And finally, when I decided to get married, the first hurdle was already crossed because mine is an interlingual marriage. I am a Gujarati and my husband is a Kannada. But that was not an issue of convincing the parents because both the sides' parents were pretty open-minded. They had said. A good good news for us is that you are getting married. <laughs> Get married to anyone that doesn't matter to us at all. But they wanted a lavish wedding. Even my husband wanted a lavish wedding. I didn't want it. Now the first negotiation, I wanted to convince him that no, we are going for a simple marriage. And he is also much into social service and all. Then I just showed him the statistics that dear my dear future husband, just look at these statistics. India ranks 119th as per UNESCO coming as far as man. Nutrition is concerned. Don't you think that the uh, food that goes waste should be going to the children? Does it make sense to you? He said, "Yeah." About this point, I had not thought. I said, "Tell you." Then, can we go for a budget wedding? He said, "Okay," but who is going to convince my parents? I said, "You." Why should I convince your parents? I'm yet to enter that home now. You're already staying with them now. Then you you can do that job better, right? Then he tried to convince, and the next day my father-in-law called me. He said, "What the hell are you up to?" I said, "I am up to something sensible, Dad. My future dad in law. Please." Then he said, "Then what about the money that we had saved for our son's wedding?" I said, "Do one thing. The moment our next generation comes into picture, save that money for that child. We we won't object. We will keep that money safe. No issues at all." First stage of negotiation crossed. Now the second stage was. Our extended relatives. My side it was 147 people. His side it was 218 people. My side was staying all over Gujarat, spread all over Gujarat. I would say every city of Gujarat, and his side was spread all over Karnataka. So I again convinced my side of relatives that please be practical. Don't waste your money. In, instead, give us blessings. I would love to have those blessings, and I firmly believe in the power of cosmic energy. That if you feel those needy people, if these people bless you, that comes back to you in some form or the other. And it really came back to me. So that second stage was crossed. Finally, we got married in a budget wedding. Our only expenses that we had to bear was rupees eighty thousand, forty thousand. I spent forty thousand. We spent done. All done. My wedding is seven and a half years old now. I have a six and a half year old daughter as well. And whatever you do good comes back to you in some form or the other. I can give you two examples of that. When I was in my sixth month of pregnancy and I was traveling by bus, generally I take the front seat. It's, it has been my habit, but that day I don't know what struck me. I took the back seat, and the bus met with a tremendous mishap with the truck. The front side was completely crashed. Two people who were taking the front seat were critical in the hospital. Imagine if I would have taken the front seat that day. Don't imagine anything because it, the bus would have happened. And secondly. In the peak of lockdown, when I had to leave a job with a mental torture by by my boss, literally I had said on the last day, thirtieth April, to hell with you and leaving you. On the same day, I I put down papers at four thirty p.m. and I got the my present job same day nine four p.m. I had the offer letter with me on the same day within five hours. At the peak of lockdown, the date was thirtieth April, twenty twenty. And why did I get this? Because I had blessings from those needy. children who may save the food for so negotiate the best and reap the harvest for me uh thank you uh, distinguished postmaster minel for bringing us the insights that what more can happen if we are stretching our hands to the needy people and definitely some or another way this lesson definitely come back to us in some or another form so we always be open to help those as much as possible bringing down or maybe not being so lavish in our daily lives so with this uh, are we going to have voting now or at the end of the session 
There is one clarification over here. We had never <laughs> said you <laughs> should dance. We are just telling, don't bother about the society, do whatever you like. Whether you want to sing, whether you want to dance, or whether it's to <laughs> do whatever. So always say go to drugs, say yes to your passion, and do whatever you want. Keep rocking. How are you doing, <laughs> So, 
Uh, we will uh, break for five minutes at time. Uh, maybe we can take a break for five minutes. Then we can start from there. Okay. So, but we'll take a break for five minutes. Uh, then we'll back. Okay. So we are back in meeting again after our break and uh, wonderful session of today's kind of cultural as what song and the music by Shantanu and Swati. So now, you as an MBS, thank you. Even though that was not uh, that good. Anyways, so we'll move to the third part of uh, today's meeting that is table topic master. Okay. I personally feel this is uh, one of the sessions of today, any Toastmasters meeting because it gives you a lot of, uh, lot of added touch, I should say. For, for me, at least, because if I've been called on the stage, what the topic will be and how I'm going to respond at that on, on that topic. And if I'm going to practice this every other time, and definitely it is going to help me in my future aspects as well, in office life, in day to day, uh, regular life as well. So, to conduct this session for today's meeting, I would like to call upon stage uh, Toastmaster Pasenji, who will be taking us to the further proceedings. So, Toastmaster Pasenji, who is an IT professional and loves to learn new things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So first of all, I will thank you, Ashutosh, Timothy Ashutosh, for calling me here because I was sitting at the backstage and I was not getting fan and I was sweating hard and I am sweating now as well. So it's not that I am feeling not well, but because there is no air coming coming. So thank you very much. And what a song. And Toastmaster uh, Shweta, what a song uh, you have sang. And what what a guitar you have played, right? And that line, right? Dunya ne hamko diya kya? Dunya ne hamko kuch nahi diya. Hamme dunya se lena. And this is where probably we have to play the things from the world. And this is where, this is the session where once called upon, if you come and if you practice, you will always feel that we have given even though the has not given anything to me. Okay, so without wasting any further time, I'll start this. And as uh, DMOD Ashwin was said, it's a very impromptu session where I'll not ask whether you want to come, I'll say, please come. Okay, so it will be very selective, non-selective kind of mechanism. So please be prepared. And this is one session where your butterflies will always fly. And you will always think that, okay, fine, this person don't see me. At least when I was, before this, I was sitting at the back bench, I always used to feel, oh, fine, that person is supposed to call me. Please don't, oh, God, please save me today. Because if this person sees me, then we'll definitely call on the stage. Okay, so I'll start this with a theme. I think in our life, everyone, everyone starts with a new beginning. Whenever you are born, it's a new beginning. Whatever you do, it's a new beginning. And today also, it's a new beginning for all of us. Every day is a new beginning. Every sunrise, every sunset is a new beginning. Okay. So my theme will be most of, uh, most of the most of the things will be around the new beginning itself. So I'll take I'll take Nilesh first. <laughs> okay. So for Nilesh, this is. The line, there is always new beginning. The beginning is always today. Thank you, Table Topic Master, for giving me this talk for me. Uh, beginning is always today, I would say, because uh, I am today playing the role of our counter, and this is my first, uh, like, uh, first time I've taken this role. Uh, I know that it's quite difficult to stand in front of everyone and uh, speak on the topic which we are not aware of. Uh, I have seen multiple times where in, uh, in my office as well, when I had to speak up, there was a challenging moment where I was not able to think of something. Uh, and that is the reason I joined uh, this club, wherein I can improve my confidence. Multiple times I tried to join the same club, but I was not able to uh, join it because of some reasons. Fortunately, I got this chance uh, one month back when I joined this club and then 
I could feel that beginning is today. And if I would have not uh, done this, then I would have again postponed my learning for the next couple of months. So thank you so much, uh, Diti Aminal, for giving me the opportunity for joining this club. At the same time, thank you all for uh, showing me how we have to speak in front of people and how we can be the we can go uh, beyond our limits and we can stretch our uh, public speaking skills to the next level. Thank you all. Thank you. So, thank you very much for giving your thoughts on that. And very true that if we, along with you, I also joined the Coach Fighter Club, and we, if we would have not joined, probably would have lost something. And it's a new beginning for all of us, especially both of us. <laughs> okay. So, the next one, uh, Pradeep, Coach Master Pradeep. Okay, so the topic for Postmaster Pradeep is let's forget the baggage of the past and make a new beginning. Let's forget the baggage of past, baggage of past, past. and start the new beginning. Uh, so uh, I'll just give one example for myself. Uh, see, I can say that earlier, uh, whenever I was going to speak in, in front of the people, I was not feeling that much confident. Even uh, so, that's why I can say that this was almost uh, it was hindering me. A lot of things I have sacrificed for that. Even uh, people will be not knowing even uh, in our like current scenario, in current like uh, society, people will be not knowing what what is psychiatrist and what is psychologist. But uh, through Dr. Rugal, I have gone there and uh, I have studied a lot of things related to like psychology and psychiatrists, how they will treat and what are the, if somebody will come to me, what is this medicine related to psychology, I can tell that this is for this because I have been experienced that and earlier I was too much prone to become nervous whenever I, I was going and definitely it has helped me. I have gone to psych, psychiatrist, he has prescribed me some SSR like selective serotonin. Uh, neutron transmitter inhibitor. So this is all it is there in our mind. So if I would have thought that uh, let us, uh, it will go like this only then I would have not done that and I would have not improved that. And coming back to that, that was uh, 30 days only. But after that, uh, if something medicine you are taking, then definitely it will be for some time. And after that, reversal is effect will come after that. So after that, after almost almost two, three years, five years, I was thinking uh, what to do, what to do. Then I kept thinking about the postmaster. If I would have been in the same situation, if I would have not taken any right step, even this postmaster journey, I would have not become this much confident because now I can talk in front of the people by seeing in their eyes. It's not here at anywhere. I will go to people and I will talk and I will see in their eyes. And if I would have thought that whatever that past is there, I let it be I like, I like that only. That was a past and this is the present, I can say that. And by this, I have improved a lot. Even my work life, it has become much easier. Even my boss says something, and if that is not right, I will assert it. I will tell, no, this is the right thing. So we should always forget our past and whatever it is there in the present, we have to move to the right path. Over to you. Thank you. This is a perfect example of Dhammarotam, where you should not take the Dhammarotam in the other way, and you should feel about Dham, the energy. Yeah. And give your package and look all this forward. Thank you very much. Okay, anyone from online would like to try? Yes. Okay. Monish, would you like to try? Uh, I guess Monish, would you like to try? Yeah. Okay. yeah, Anish, you can go ahead. Anish, you would like to try? Yeah, sure. So, Anish, uh, I hope uh, I'm loud and clear. So, your topic is if you could rename yourself, what name would you pick? If I could rename myself, what name would I pick? Yes. 
okay so name giving is something which is definitely not in our hands but if we have to choose anything then that becomes an interesting task so our thinking and lot of things we think and a lot of things we want it all depends on all the experiences we have the experiences so far i have had from my childhood until now if i have to describe all those into one word i would name myself that word and that word will be go getter so if i have to rename myself i would rename myself as go getter why because since childhood situations were not very kind to me but somehow i found a way to sail through those and get what i really wanted so i would rename myself as a go getter so if you want to call me you can call me go getter dhutrikar from now on over to you thank you Okay, go getter is a right thing if anyone wants to change the name go getter okay anyone from online uh, sir so 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 would you like to try yeah yeah i would like to try okay how sir okay so your topic is if you could do it all over again would you change anything if you could do it all over again would you change anything if i could do it all over it again if i would change anything right okay okay so yeah hi uh good afternoon everyone i am saurav so my topic is if i could do it again would i change anything so i i would start first contemplating what uh what things how suggestions were there uh, like life is uh unfair you can you cannot say like life is always fair and uh you get all those things that you desire but still the the unfulfilled desires are the just of the life i would say because uh it it gives you that enthusiasm to work harder every day you start afresh and you would uh, like uh, push more energy into whatever you want to perceive what what is what what your real pursuit is you will start uh, uh, like with more energy and enthusiasm so in my case i would say uh, i won't change anything a bit but uh, uh yeah it it's a personal uh, opinion so for me it's like everything is good it has come so good at 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 this point of time and i will work more hard and i would achieve it in future as well thank you okay so much for sir uh um, very rightly said not all is necessary to change uh, something but if, if you want to do something new you should go for it okay anyone else from online okay maybe okay. okay here my wish for you the topic is what is something most people don't know about it that is some people talking i like to start now what is something people don't know about me okay, there are many things people don't know about me but one so, only thing that i would like to do is now that we have mentioned the school today and uh, we said that for 12 years we don't change school but that was not the case with me for me every year was new school new beginning from first standard to seventh standard that was the reason because my father was in uh, government officer and he was uh, undergoing treatment for transfers so in first standard i was in ahmednagar in second standard i went to sangli in third standard in trade of again a village in sangli called ashta in fourth standard again school change in fifth standard it it went it went on till around seven then my seventh standard my mother said my father died that this is not a good practice and our child should our children needs some stability for my sister and my father my sister so Then they decided that they are going to settle now in my hometown, that is Kerala. And from my seventh standard onwards to my tenth standard, that was the first time I enjoyed a school uninterrupted for four years. 
Again, after 10, it was uh, a level question, some different, uh, uh, different college, and from 12 onwards, again, the, the, a different college. So, that, uh, that is something most people don't know about. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Yes, sometimes moving from one place to another is not very certain. And very rightly said that that is one thing. Okay, so next I would like to call Chandrasekhar or Chandan. Yes, Chandan. So your topic is. Do you think the Toastmasters table topic section is a good or destructive feature of Toastmaster table? Okay. Yeah, that's a nice topic. <laughs> As a table topic. <laughs> so definitely table topics is uh, something that would teach you a lot of things. Um, I just remember one table topic session in one of the past meetings. I was a very new member, uh, person given me a table topic. And I took that, I interpreted that topic completely in the wrong way. And I start, started talking about something else. But uh, the achievement of was I at least talked for a minute. So, although I got the topic wrong, but I talked for a minute. But in general, uh, table topic would really help you a lot. So you are, whether you are in a college, you are in your uh, professional career, you, a lot of times you get, uh, to fall into a, such a situation where you need to talk about something that you don't know about. So suppose you are leading a team, your team members can ask you anything and you should be ready to answer uh, their questions. So the Toastmasters really good, gives good opportunity and uh, apart from table topic, this is the new beginning for me because the new XCOM uh, team is on its way. So. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I'll be uh, I'll be the education in the next term. So that's that's a new beginning for me. So thank you very much. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much. For Sorry for that. Okay, so your topic is every sunset is an opportunity to reset. Yeah, this is very true. Every sunset is opportunity to reset because we walk in the morning, then we exhaust ourselves with the commitments we try to follow and then go back and take a rest. So we do not take, we do not, there is a phrase actually, we do not pause the pause button. We, we do not press the pause button we want, but we pause that button because we want to come up and push that, that play button again with the strong commitment, with the strong passion. So it is always to go back in your past. I mean, whenever you are working on multiple and responsibilities, so it's uh, sometimes it's better to take pause. You know uh, that even the tiger, uh, the king of the forest, also takes some time. Uh, he he do, uh, do not go for hunting. He takes some time he, uh, because it doesn't mean that he has given up everything. Uh, because he just want to take rest. He don't even sometimes that dog is barking at him and he will not notice that uh, and some people will means animals will can say that oh this is uh, very strange that uh, the tiger has given up it doesn't it, it is not like that he has done intentionally because he don't want he will come up when he is hungry then he will hunt so similarly it's good practice that uh, like we have done the whole work in, throughout the day then it's rightly said that we have to go uh, and we have to take we have to reset ourselves so that we can uh, come up when there is a sunrise and we can start all 
uh, guns blazing to just rock our day. So it is like that. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Pastor Madhu. Yes, absolutely true. Every sunset gives us a chance to reset. And believe me, we humans by default reset our energy. We sleep and our body gets refreshed. What a system built. We are still struggling to build the software in the IT world, but automatically the system has been built where you go and sleep and your body gets refreshed. Okay, so. Who is going to be the next? Uh, we have one case, Sunny. Uh, Sunny, would you like to try? Uh, yeah. Hi everyone. Yeah, hi Sunny. Hi. Uh, I actually joined here as a viewer, but I don't know what to say. I'm. This is my first time. I'm like. Uh, no. No problem. Mm -hmm. So we are all first timers here. So it's not that we need to be perfect. We just need to say something. I do, I don't think that probably this will be very difficult for you. So the topic is. Just let it go. Pardon? Just let it go. Just let it go. Okay. Uh, just let it go. Is, uh, I mean, um, it's a great topic actually, and it's a great honor. Like you, you gave me the time to speak. So just let it go for me is like sometimes like uh, uh, we are in a situation like uh, uh, things are not right from our side. Like we we feel like everyone is getting whatever whatever like um, like uh, people are getting more than i'm getting and like uh, people are getting uh, their uh, their opportunities more than more than you like you feel sometimes satisfied you feel sometimes like was always facing things and if, uh, everything happening bad is the uh, like you are the brand ambassador for the bad things happening on this planet so uh, believe me, uh, like we should uh, 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 try to get rid of those negative thoughts because the perseverance is the key to success for uh, what I feel. So you should keep trying. You should keep trying, and uh, you should not feel like like uh, like uh, definitely there is um, uh, like definitely there is a way. There is definitely a way because uh, perseverance pays. And if there is something like uh, uh, like you are uh, uh, trying by heart and you are putting your efforts, not tomorrow, not day after tomorrow, but one day, it will definitely pay off. So uh, I think you should uh, let it uh, let it go. As our topic is there, you should let go your uh, negative thoughts. You should let go your uh, the people who are uh, you should you should let go your uh, like the company you keep if the company uh, you are keeping uh, you 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 don't find it like they are uh, like there's something the guys are contributing to you and your graph is still stuck there and you're not learning there and you are stuck in that group like people are learning from you and you're not getting anything so you're the best one in the team. So if you are the best one in the team, I think you should leave that team because being the best one is like everyone is learning from you and you're not getting anything. So you should let go that team. You should go into that team and you should sit with the people who are, who you definitely think that they're doing good than you and they're doing, they're, they're uh, like you're evolving with the positive thoughts and everything there is a, there is a like a ecosystem of the positiveness because because uh, the people who are actually on a positive drive have already left their negative thoughts behind. So this is the best example of let it go. So the negativity you should let go. So the people uh, who are having negative thoughts and the, the circle and whatever happens and and you should keep on trying whatever you're doing in your life you should have perseverance definitely not today not tomorrow not day after tomorrow it will take months but when this uh, fruit will be there it's completely uh, ready fruit will be there so you will go back and look into the time and see that yes that paid off and my my efforts paid off and whatever i did even if a single effort uh, it is getting me paid today. So 
that's thank what you. i can thank say thank you very much uh, what a wonderful thought about let it go and, and i think came from your heart where you said everything about let it go it's, it's very difficult to say from your heart always but you have tried a very good attempt there to say what you think about it thank you very much one last thing uh, this is do i have time Okay, no, uh, I'll just put one impromptu in from to uh, quote here, topic here, and I'll call Chandra Shekhar uh, for that. <laughs> so this this is not there in my list. So I'll just put a topic for you. When did you last thought that you have started in music? So the question is, when did I last thought that I started a new beginning? And it was just three days ago I posted something which actually got uh, so many people uh, angry. I posted, "Don't step out of your comfort zone. Never ever do that." And why did I say that? So there is one analogy that I try to follow, and I believe after this speech, no one would uh, even follow it. But when we say this is like our comfort zone, and these are the things that are outside our comfort zone. So everybody is saying, "Hey, Chandrasekhar, step out of your comfort zone. Do this." My question is, when you get out of your comfort zone, what happens actually? You are in a vulnerable situation. Okay. So when you go out of your comfort zone, it becomes difficult for you. And they say the progress is outside of your comfort zone. It is actually not. Let me tell you why. When you do the things which is outside of your comfort zone, what you are actually trying is to get it into your comfort zone. So at the end, your end goal is not to become uncomfortable. But to become comfortable, so what are the things that you are trying to do? You are actually trying to get that in your comfort zone. Because my end goal in postmaster is not to become uncomfortable, but to become comfortable when I am on the stage. Be it like last year for me, the uncomfortable things were becoming chief judge, becoming contest chair. So I tried doing something so that it can come under my comfort zone. This year I have some certain goals which are outside of comfort zone or what we say. So my end goal is not to get out of your, my comfort zone, but to have it inside my comfort zone. And this is the analogy that I follow, and that's why I posted that. Don't get out of your comfort zone. But the end part was bring it in your comfort zone, and that is the something new learning for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And what a good point. Always go for something which is not under your comfort zone, but bring that part within your comfort zone. So it's chit pe meri, pat pe meri. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Prasen Ji, for bringing such a lifelong lessons by your table topics. Uh, we all can relate with how much these topics are relevant to us, and even we can take this service and incorporate for our further proceedings. With this, uh, now we come to the last part of today's session, that is evaluation. So our first speaker was Postmaster Snehar, whose speech is going to be evaluated by Postmaster Abhishek. Uh, just to uh, apprise the entire forum that we will not be having voting for the table topic session as well because uh, we are having a different feeling uh, as regular. So I would like to call upon Postmaster Abhishek to give his evaluation. Okay, thank you so much Postmaster Day. Five days back, did you envision what we are today or what we are doing? Well, as the our speaker Toastmaster Snehal said, you don't want it until you want it. And thank you so much for, for giving us a purpose. Now, coming to the speech, uh, your speech was in a chronological manner and you have explained very nice. So, so first of all, you have told why you like uh, Priyanka Chopra in your personal level, you told about yourself and that uh, tell us about what is going in your mind. Next is you went in the chronological manner talking about the childhood, the boarding school and how boarding school helped her understanding people and building herself up. Then you talked about the competition, the challenge in the competition and how she improved herself. Next, about the Bollywood. This is a new challenge, uh, something from which we got to know more about her and her skills. 
finally the bollywood and moving forward what she is doing so this is in the chronological manner we got to know a lot about her even someone who don't know about uh, priyanka chopra now uh, that person has the complete idea now another thing that i really loved about your speech is that you not only told about the story but also you spoke about what is the emotions what is the challenges that is going in her mind for example when uh, in the competition there were multiple uh, there the competition were higher there were a lot of beautiful girls uh, she was feeling fear and frustration her parents supported her a lot and this kind of human emotions the frustration uh, the stress fear this help us to connect to the uh, person whether it you are talking about yourself or uh, some character in your speech in a personal level so i think you have done wonderful job in that part connecting us to your character now coming to the objective for the speech you have given a speech with a purpose uh, your purpose was uh, definitely she didn't thought that she see her plan was to be a aeronautical engineer but she ended up in the movie industry and other comp- uh, other uh, achievement as well so you have talked uh, great about that but there is some recommendation how you can improve your speech now your topic was give a speech with a purpose there was definitely a purpose in your speech but it was not installed them in the mind of your audience for example you in the start beginning of your speech or and the end of your speech you have repeated the mission statement the topic for your speech but what about in the beginning of it it's in the in between of your speech in the body while you giving a speech our mind were more focus on your story then what the information or what the learning that we should extract from the story and i think you could have improved a lot on that in your speech there are multiple occasion where you can uh, ask the audience to focus on the topic that even though there was no she didn't thought she had a different life goal but as she keep moving forward her destiny her life changed she didn't thought that she will go in the direction of movies and uh, the competition but still she went in that direction so in this way in the various scenario you can ask your audience to um, extract the information from your story the core message and that could have been improve your speech to summarize your speech this was a very nice speech we understood uh, the life of her story her life we have got more into the mind the emotions at the same time if you use the recommendation your speech will move to the next level so all the best for your next speech and over to toast master day thank you uh, toastmaster abhishek uh, for uh, giving your evaluation to toastmaster sneha definitely she is going to take this learnings and uh, give us our next speeches now we'll move to our next evaluation uh, of toastmaster winner that will be done by toastmaster venkatesh toastmaster of the day toastmaster ashutosh distinguished toastmaster winner big fat indian wedding to waste or to invest what a great title you have chosen at the outset of stage you asked a question to the audience what is the biggest festival in india now people were answering several questions came around diwali the wedding somebody said wedding and you set the context now this is the best way to start your speech by asking a question to the audience that has helped to grab the attention of the audience which has helped to engage the audience with you so kudos to you on that aspect then you said in the state marriage that is a two state marriage which connected me which reminded me that the chetan bagas book two states you are from a gujarat your partner is from karnataka and that's a great way because those things sometimes connect you to some other story which you have gone through moving on to the some of the statistics which you have mentioned like india stands 106 in the unesco rating where you know we are wasting the food and you try to set the contest why you are going for the budget marriage so that has helped to begin with your story narrating the story around that topic and 
that a, that is the great way to begin with the story and then narrate the story why you are here or why you are trying to save your money on the wedding which is actually the waste of the money so rather than that rather to invest somewhere somewhere else now on top of that what i try to see in the uh, slide which was shared i do not know how many of you have captured that there was written new life bank the card was issued the credit card was issued by new life bank there was you are invited where the master card logo was shown and there was the date of birth if i'm not wrong date of birth of your partner and date of birth of yours which was the card number so great innovative and a very nice way a creativity you have shown today where for the you are very however to take your speech to the next level i would say i have for certain recommendation that is you talked about the worst accident in between so i couldn't see any negotiation in that so whether you could have said like there was a negotiation the trade off between you and that person who was sitting and i said no i don't want this seat i i will go back because there is a noise and other stuff at the first seat so then you went at the last seat and that has saved your life so that was the one and then you all of sudden there was resignation and on, on that you said like you got a job you resigned and you got a new job offer so it was there was no transition all of sudden you changed the topic some new few more stories you added but however it was a great speech and i wish all the best to you if you can incorporate this two things you can take your speech to the next level thank you thank you sir venkatesh what a meticulous evaluation done by him he was so precise while observing the speech the observation that he bring to us that that was a bank name what the credit card date of birth so evaluation is something that is always good for thought for the upcoming speeches and the way he has done is given this evaluation definitely going to give us a lots of learning that how we are going to evaluate such, such speeches Uh, with this now i would like to call our general evaluator who will be presenting his report along with his candy so i hope each and every one of you have enjoyed the meeting in haroli say a big yes if you are yes. yes perfect so we had a uh, Who had been evaluating us at each and every point of whatever we speak, whatever actions we are doing, when we are coming in the limelight or when we are coming in the spotlight. So the first thing, let us hear from someone who is actually fan of Shah Rukh Khan today, or who will be evaluating Shah Rukh Khan with us today. You got it? Who I am speaking about? That's the Kiki Kiran evaluator. That is our author for today. So Nilesh has been playing the Akasha for the day, so I would like to call him over the stage to present. Over to you. Okay. So first of all, uh, good news is most of us were flawless today. I will start with those uh, master Tulsi, then. Uh, DTM Meenal, Toastmaster Mayuresh, Toastmaster Swati, uh, Toastmaster Vinkatesh, Toastmaster Prasenjit, uh, Toastmaster Anish. They were flawless today. Okay, now uh, Toastmaster Ashutosh, five hours, three soul. Toastmaster Mayur. Four R two so. Postmaster Mayuresh one so. Postmaster Pradeep one R five likes. Postmaster Abhishek two R three so. Postmaster Snehal five R three so one like. Postmaster uh, Nilesh four R. Postmaster Saurabh, five hours, one so, one but. Postmaster Shantanu, three hours, two so, one but. Yes, Sunny, five hours, 
and five likes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much, uh, Nilesh. That was said in a very meticulous way. Now, let us go to someone. Who makes you say like I'm reaching the place? No, no, no. You have to say I'm about to reach the place. Or I'm on the way reaching the place. I hope you all got it. It's the Grammarian. So let's have a Grammarian to go to Grammarian Master Uh, so first of all, I like to start from the word of the day and the phrase of the day. It is used by Toastmaster Mayur as has used both the word of the day and the phrase of the day. Toastmaster Mayur has also used word of the day and the phrase of the day. Toastmaster Anish has also used word of the day and the phrase of the day. And DTM, you know, he has used phrase of the day. And Toastmaster Prentice has also used it. Word of the day. So I would like to request all to give them a big round of applause. I can see that uh, almost uh, it was very nice meeting and there was no flaws in uses of English language. But some of the very good uses of English language I found like negotiation. So that means discussion at which people try to decide or agree something. So that is known as negotiation skills. And lavish, that means giving or spending large amount of money, that is lavish. And go get her something, the person who is uh, like handy and is more concerned about his success goal for doing his work. And meticulous, giving or showing great attention to the detail. That is meticulous. These are the like uh, good uses, good, good words which has been used in this thing. This is all about uh, gravity and Thank you. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Pratik, the Canadian of the day. So let's begin with my evaluation. That is how the overall meeting has done and how the details have played their part. So, first, starting with both the evaluators, that is Postmaster Abhishek and Postmaster Vikati, they have followed the CRC approach and they have done, they have kept the perfect points where if I would have evaluated, I would have also given the same points. And you need to be brave enough to come up with the recommendations when you're targeting a speaker who is even well known plus or well experienced than you. So kudos on that, no hesitation. Came up with a good recommendation and followed the CRC approach. So a big round of applause to what are you And next, coming to our, our counter, that is Postmaster Village. He followed the report very meticulously. He first read the flawless speakers, then had come up with all his findings. So the only recommendation which is from my end is, even when I started, I took up a counter role or the timer role initially. So no need to fear, even if it's a two minute role or three minute role, bring in your flavor, bring in your confidence, so that everybody remembers that they have done the counter role in so and so meeting or in three minutes. So that's the only recommendation on the very best. And uh, to our grammarian today, Toastmaster Prati, his uh, report was very much meticulous. Like he read the names of the people who had uh, reinstated the word of the day, the phrase of the day. And he even had all the findings. And along with other two parties, he even came up with meanings. But according to me, there were even words that could be added in the good UC, which was missed. That can be meticulously done by using Google at the, at the same time whenever somebody uses the right word. So that you get the meeting, a meeting, you make a note of it, and you see. That could have made your report 10 on 10 instead of 8 on 10. But overall, it was a great job done. So kudos to our department and to And to our Toastmaster of the Day, Toastmaster of the Day, uh, in fact, has brought a new great team to the meeting. And he has overall control over the meeting. He had started the meeting done one time along with the sergeant at arms and, and he had followed all the rules. Uh, I mean, wherever the pause was required, he gave the pause. Wherever there was an initiation, he initiated it. So great job done over there. The only recommendation, whether it's a hybrid, whether it's an online or whether it's an offline, you're not supposed to leave the stage empty at even a moment of period. Either they should be the speaker or the royal speaker or the PM only. Someone or the other should be on the stage to make the stage always feel complete. 
So that's the only thing that apart from that great role and apart from that he existed in a few of the points of my role also in spite of not being the friend. So kudos great job of that. And the tragedy that uh, Toastmasters could see had started the meeting on time. So I couldn't attend over here. I was locked in and I could check like at what time the meeting was starting. So it was started on time. All the rules and regulations was clean. And the meeting uh, and even the rules were set at the meeting. The guest read detail. So great job on that Toastmaster Tennessee. And as always, a fabulous, fabulous meeting overall. And did I miss anyone? If I missed anyone, you can say. Of course, I was sitting beside the timer. So there was one feedback which I already gave. Our timer has been very meticulous in uh, taking out the points or taking out like which speaker has done whatever the time is. So, Bangong, kudos on that. But only one feedback is when you're holding the card, it should be whole for the entire time frame. Until the transaction takes place from green to yellow and from yellow to red, the card should always be hold on or else the speaker would forget like where it has to end. And even now, the time period that's given to me is seven minutes, but I don't see the cards being hold. <laughs> but that's why I was just kidding. So, great job, Dan. Uh, so, kudos to our time. And for the other topics, Master. Has presently has come up with the fabulous, fabulous topics and the easy to speak topics that is really important for the table topic speaker to come ahead. He had a good control over the stage and uh, he could he had given the easy topic to the speaker so that they could relate and they could come up with such good table topic speeches. So kudos on that. Because as he's a, a seasoned toastmaster, I can give to him is. After every table topic uh, speaker completes, he can just give a good point about him. So that's the only place where I felt like that would have been a little bit more add on. Or else the session was conducted fabulously and all the table topics were really good and easy for the speakers to speak about or to come. So great job, Dan, everybody. Last meeting of uh, GTM in Nina's term. So, how would you like to proceed? Like, should I give it to the Toastmaster of the day and should I give it to the uh, GTM Minal for the final closure? You, you can give me the Okay, fine. Over to you, Toastmaster of yeah. the day, Toastmaster. Thank you. 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 So, with this, uh, we have come to the end of our today's meeting. The theme of today's meeting was to start something uh, for the very first time, the new beginning. You be change is always scary. If we are going to do something for the very first time, it means we are changing something that we, what we were doing earlier. And from this, we are changing to this time. Change is scary, that we understood. But you know what is more scary? Allowing that fear that not to come forward and take up the new role, new challenges, and to make a new beginning. So, if that fear is there, who is holding us back not to come out from our comfort zone and uh, do something? When I say comfort zone, I, I saw Chandra. <laughs> should we come out or not? So, uh, we definitely should not allow that fear to rule over all of us, all over us, and not able to do something new. A journey of hundred miles always starts with a single step. So, we have to always make sure that we are taking coming out from our regular schedule and do something very new for the very first time. And we, when we keep on doing those things, we are we keep on going new beginning, definitely new course of life will come across our way and definitely we will be reaching new success every time. So with this, I would like to congratulate all the new elected experts who is going to start their session from the next week onwards. And we will try to understand from the existing experts that how their journey was for last six months. So I would like to start with Postmaster Miller. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Postmaster of the day, Postmaster Ashutos. Now, as we say that for something to start, something has to end. Now herein, I would like to mention about certain milestones that all our members have crossed so this would also act as an inspiration to our new members. And herein, I would firstly begin, I mean, let's go with the 
top down approach over there now what is being at the top of toastmasters dtm being a dtm and now we have a few people in our club who within the next two toastmasters years would be the dtm i would like to call upon them one by one toastmaster venkatesh please come on the stage toastmaster swati please come on the stage On the stage. You send it. That's right. Yeah. Now, as I tell you, for new members, for the benefit of new members, let me tell you and just uh, take it as an education thing that how can you reach this milestone? For this, you need to complete two parts. Number one. After that, you need to serve a district officer role. A district officer role to start with the area director. And if not that, then you could take some other role as a district officer. It could be a district administration manager. It could be the district logistics manager, district PR manager, parliamentarian, and there are two other roles as well. They say the next six roles. So that could be any of the roles. So that is another criteria. Two parts: district role. The other is you should be either a club coach or a club mentor. Any one of the two. Next role would be you should be either a you should be a club sponsor. Sponsor is also another criteria. So these and, and yeah and one more thing you should be going for a DTM project. Now I'll tell you what does DTM project stand for. In fact I can give you an easy clue regarding that. Those who have their study have passed out from Pune or have have done their studies from Pune or even other cities will also have a problem with that. They can. Pass on their learnings from Toastmasters to those colleges. You can uh, ask your college authorities uh, or the you know the student council members and say that I I want to conduct a two-day workshop or a three-day workshop as such regarding my learnings of Toastmasters. And then you can at least convince five people from the student community to join Toastmasters. That's not a mandate, but good if you do that. So you can show it as a result. As a DTM project, that that is one more criteria. So these are all the criteria which qualify you to be a distinguished toastmaster. Now let me list out the achievements of all these people, starting with our penguin. I always tell the world as the penguin. Now she has been the pathway star since year 2018. Every year she completes a pathway. <laughs> That part of her is big mark done. She is a club coach to the STS club, and that thing also will be finished within the next one year. Now, DTM project. She is working in the background. She will come up with something soon. On her part, the only thing left on her part is the district officer role that she will be taking in the next year, next post master. That's why I said in the next two years we have a DTM in stand. Jay is not with us right now. Otherwise, I would have told about Jay as well. Let's summarize about him later. Now, regarding post master and credits, he has already completed his one part, and second part he is going to complete in this post master year. So, two parts will be complete. District officer, he is already elected area director for the uh, division O, no, not division area O two. He has been selected for this year, so that criteria done. Now the only thing left with him is either a club coach or club mentor and a club sponsor. DTM project he will be doing at this time. So he will also be the DTM in the next two years. Now coming to Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar, he is the person who will never sit idle. You will never find him sitting idle. The second WhatsApp status every day he will be attending some of the other Toastmasters. That is the passion he has for Toastmasters, which goes without saying it, right? Now he is also first part is on the verge of completion. Just please be just like that, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. So those that year and the other part he will be completing in this year. Regarding you know, that, he is also elected as the club mentor for a, for an upcoming club, and that will be known soon because when you are a mentor, the, the club gets a mentor, and the club has to get started. At that time, you get uh, elected as the club mentor, and the club coach comes into picture, and the club is dying, and you have to uplift them. So, Swati is doing that job right now, which is very tough. She and even Jay equal. Jay is the uh, coach for Himachal Club. So, regarding Chandra, his two parts will be complete. Club mentor, he will be completing this year. Now the only thing that with him would be the district officer role. That also he will be taking next year. So that's why I said three are already there with us in the pipeline for the DTM. And Jay, he has completed four parts. So 
15 marks per speech, 15 into 4 gives 60 speeches. In the last three years, he has completed 60 speeches. So the pathway thing is already clear for him. He is also elected as the area director for the area Y4. So that path is, that thing is also clear from his end. He is also serving as a coach to the Emerson's club. So coach thing tick. Now only thing left with him is the club sponsor and the DTM coach. That he will be doing uh, in the next two years. Two years I am saying because club sponsor he may get this year or he may get next year. That, that's why I am saying two years. So we have four prospective DTMs with us right now. In the next two years the tag, tag of DTM will be added as a privilege to them. And if you ask regarding me, even I'll be a second DTM in the next two years. Yes, yeah. uh, I don't know about uh, Toastmaster Chair. Only two pathways, only two pathways are specific to complete for the DTM. Yeah. But he has been doing four paths just to uh, just to accommodate or just to uh, give his level completion to the clubs yeah. so that the clubs can complete their DCP course. So who knows only. He's not okay. He is even serving the club by completing his club. So that is uh, as well as the city level. Because and even, yeah. yeah, and as our meeting was progressing, I do got a message from one of our division directors that I have been selected as a club mentor for one of the clubs. Just for it. I have been for it to him. So, I do that, so, yeah, you are saying, you are saying. Sorry. Yeah, so, see, uh, on top of this, first of all, let's uh, distinguish Toastmaster winner. I always say that distinguish Toastmaster. Because we call it DTM, DTM. There may be so many people who are new to Toastmaster and may not know what is DTM. And that is something, it doesn't come in a, you know, maybe two to three months or a six month. It takes years and a lot of hard work, dedication, commitment. So on top of that, with your own efforts, you get that Distinguished Toastmaster Award, which is the highest award. And which is achieved by uh, Distinguished Toastmaster winner. Distinguished Toastmaster, we know from our club, yeah, and there were a few who are not active. They may they might join again, rejoin again, and for even for the Toastmaster judge, uh, you might be just feeling that you know the 60 speeches, two pathways. It's not a joke. Sir, that is Your hard work, and whenever to all my mentee, what I tell is the thumb rule is, you should not miss a single minute. See, you might see even mine and Jai. Jai is the first 100% attender. Mine, maybe 95, 96, 97%. But to that extent, we try to meet that, our commitment. Second, you have to attend the meeting. And secondly, you take a role. It's not about only attending meeting, but if you can't take a role, but at least you have to log in and you have to attend the meeting. That is it. Favorite and, topics also you can participate, if not anyone. Yes, else. yes. So yeah. that is required and not even this club, you might be wondering how he has completed the uh, speeches. Because you might feel that only few speeches he might have given in our club. But he delivered those speeches outside the club, which is again challenging. See, you might be comfortable in our own club. You know each and every person and you are coming and delivering. But going outside, you are, uh, you know, this boundary, comfort where the comfort zone which Chandra had stored. If you are going outside and delivering your speeches, that will help you to boost your confidence that you can talk to any level at any point. So that is what these all people, what distinguished Toastmaster Minal talked about, including Swati. It's not about the judge. Swati also takes the role at the uh, area level, district level, all the contests. There people might be approaching you for the chief judge, judge, try to participate. It might, you might feel like, you know, at times, it is like a burden of you are doing too much, but all this dedication and commitment and help them. People know you because you, this only club knows who is uh, Toastmaster Nilesh, who is Toastmaster Ashutosh, but people will try to, people will understand you when you will participate at area level or district level. And at the same time, contest. I'll tell you for me, last two, two and a half years, I'm participating in contest. This year, by rule, I may not be yeah. able to participate in the contest being a district uh, officer. Yeah. But when we participate in the contest, thinking that I want to win the contest, and I want that spirit in you. Try to participate, saying that you want to win the contest. You will reach to area level, from area level, go to division level, and from division to district, and to the international level. That is what we are expecting. So that will give you a lot of confidence, and of course, it's not about me. If we can do them, definitely you guys can also do. And we want few more DTMs in our place. It's not about only we are, you know, clapping our yeah. hands between three, four hours every time we come and we do say that distinguished Toastmaster. So we want few more people. 
that is what my message here. And I would say you are paying your Toastmaster fee over here to excel yourself in communication, leadership, as well as networking. All these three are something which you are here for. Am I right? So utilize it to the extent. I mean, you paid for it and you deserve it. So try to collaborate with the other people. So try to collaborate with the other clubs also. Now it is hybrid. So for a certain limit of time, we'll have a privilege of joining all that. So take roles even in the other club. That's how you go. And that's how people start coming up to you like take the fantasy of the teaching context yes. or take this role in so and so context. And that's why we are over here. My wishes are so master for the division. So we all know my is a so master for our division. People know him because they make their contest yeah. as a so master. So going everybody and keep talking. Because uh, for any uh, role which you want to play, maybe a district officer or anywhere, people should know you. If they know, they will have enough confidence to choose you as a, you know, the right candidate. Because most of the time, what happens? We might, you know, you might nominate yourself, you might give your interview, but if nobody knows who is Toastmaster, who is Toastmaster Village, then probably people may not have that confidence. See, you might be able to do. You are eligible, but when you people knows within this fraternity. That will boost confidence and it will be easy for you to get that goal. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you Yeah, what so you need Chandra and stay back and how you can go. Yeah. I'm doing it step by step so everyone gets to know what other laurels we receive. Now I would like to specially mention these two people. Now, in the last one Thomaster year, Chandra was recognized as the Best performer amongst the executive committee in District 19. And he was felicitated by our area director. And he was also recommended as the best performer in the non excom role in District 19. The goal was actually the part of XCOM, but from members, we couldn't shortlist anyone else. So then our area director said, okay, one let's keep as XCOM and one let's keep as that. So one let's keep as that. Fine. Or should we decrease more? It should be okay. Okay. And now, okay. now the question arises what makes them special? The very first quality, as Venkatesh mentioned, as he and Jay have that quality already, and now they are also having it, is that they never say no to anything. Whenever someone approaches them for anything regarding Toastmasters, they are always there. They never say that, no, I'm not going to do it. Now, regarding that, now coming to our experience as XCOM, I would say because they have been a part of XCOM as well since the last two terms in Swati's term as well and in my term as well. Your Swati will resonate with me over here that in her term as well as in my term, we had very irreparable challenges, I would say. And those were such means as a part of XCOM, I'm not supposed to watch the dirty line in public, it's not allowed. But those challenges were really something that we couldn't reverse them by any means. At that time, these two came forward and they said, Don't worry, we will take care of you. And once the things go in their hands, they are not going to come without finishing. Not at all. And always we said that the, I would say Mr. Elevens, both of them. <laughs> So they have also been recognized for their contribution as XCOM. As we saw that uh, he received the, for the last term, he was the VP Education, Excellence in Education. He is to receive one more award that is Transparency in Treasury because he was a treasurer for this term. That is on, his, on its way, the award. Because this time the awards are really rising at the snail speed. We get it. <laughs> Actually, it's not in Actually, and now. And uh, he is also he, he will also be getting it. Last time he was the VPPR. This term he is the secretary. So he will be getting for excellence in administration. And last time I was the secretary, so I'll also be getting for excellence in administration. And I would like to call upon Pradeep, uh, Sergeant at Arms. And as a Sergeant at Arms, 
He has always been available. I know he stays very far. Stay at yes. Especially during the physical meetings, it was a, an issue to uh, get the things on time. But he was still there. And always he said that, okay, I am going to take a room. Only once he had to back out because the supply chain. Yeah, I have to go to Yeah, that visit was scheduled. Otherwise, he is another person who will not stay at home anytime. So for logistics, excellence in logistics, he is also going to get the award. That is also on its way. We just have to wait when he gets it and we will be posting it on the group. So I would say these people, and as an IPP, again, I would like to call upon Swati on the stage. So we all, and INSEA is not uh, there right now either because she had an emergency, and INSEA. So I would say all six of us were literally on our toes in this term. She was since the last term, I would say, she was the president. And many of those were, and at that time we had our upcoming president, Abhishek Negi, as well. He was the VP membership in the last term. So these people have given more than their 100 percent I would say. They have put their heart and soul into TMCP Northwest. And that is the result. We could get 14 awards at Eloquence. It didn't happen just like that. Only because these people had their perseverance and that too with achieving the individual goals. At times they kept their individual goals at the back burner, but they were focused towards their jobs. You can take the example of Chandra Shekhar. He could have easily completed his class last year, but he had taken responsibility of the club so much that he literally forgot about it. He said, okay, we'll see the next year, whatever it is. Let's look at the club right now. When we had our membership campaign, now this uh, Mayu knows very well he is our upcoming VP membership. To so, uh, get the, as we have distinguished so far at the individual highest award, the highest award as a club is the Diamond Club Award that is presented by the district. That, that also we got this year. And the credit solely goes to all this and also from the last term, Abhishek. Because the criteria there that membership campaign we had to organize. And this was told to us by our CGV at the last moment. The deadline was 31st March. He informed us on 29th March. And then I asked him, how are you going to manage this? He said that, okay, I extend the date to 3rd April. Do your membership campaign on 3rd April. And the moment I announced it on 30th March, Mayur was ready with the poster. Next day itself. I didn't even have to tell him that you do it. And on 3rd April, we had our membership campaign conducted. And before 3rd May, we had to add five members. Only then we were eligible for the Diamond Club Award because that was the only last leg left in our uh, eligibility. And that happened because relentlessly all of this worked day in day night. I really don't remember how many times we pinned how many people at what time of the day. <laughs> Are you interested in joining? Please join our club. We'll get this benefits. Everything. But that one, uh, that one more effort was taken by Madam. As a leader, she has played a very lengthy like, role, I can say that. I was almost, I, even I was thinking that this time will not get like that. But Shredam has all the effort she has put there. For membership is something that we was really hard. There is a uh, issue to go on, but it can issue to go on completion. I would like to thank uh, Toastmaster Venkatesh, Toastmaster uh, DDM Vinod, and uh, Toastmaster Jay. Okay. And, uh, a little bit of myself also for this because we completed one complete path and rest to each and everyone who has completed the path without the exactly. help. And to upcoming to all those who have joined, start uh, preparing your speeches and start yes. doing your speeches. Or which we are like, <laughs> we are yeah, already here. We are yeah. already here yeah. now. So it's now time for you people to shine up. So please give as many speeches as you can. Like plan at least two speeches in a month. And I mean, just drop it and uh, and now uh, you might also think that how do we come into limelight? The best way is to play a role in the contest. Club level contest and after that the area level contest. Because you will get noticed. Because you will get mails. All the members get the mails and then if they care, they give us the link as well. That uh, open the link, which role you want to play. Could it be the contest chair? Could it be the tiny counter? It could be the timer, zoom master, everything. Even the small role matters. You get felicitated number one, and number two, you get noticed for your meticulous work. And once you, you get noticed over there, next time the district officer themselves will approach you. Would you have to be a part of this contest as a role player? That is going to help. 
because coming in limelight is very important. Because later when you apply for the roles of area director or this, people should be knowing your background. What have you done for your club or what have you done at the contest? You should be having a strong history to tell them, right? Like, that we have done this and we are a good candidate for that. That is the thing. So that is very important. Keep yourself engaged and as I said, put your heart and soul into it. That's going to matter. And that's and as an IPP, I would be there with you people. Mayur is uh, again one of the XCOM members. He is the VP member. Oh. And we all are there in the background. And yeah, I forgot to tell about Toastmaster Uncle. He too created history in this term as he reached, he made it to the district level. In the and he missed the prize just by a whisker. Because I had heard his speech, it was just a microsecond spot, I would say. Otherwise, he would have got us the trophy at the district level as well. So, regarding contest, whatever it is, means, uh, these are, are also winners. Mekadesh has also won the uh, club level contest. Uh, well, Chandra has won the area level contest as well. So these three people, even, even for that matter, Jay, Swati, she was also the winner when she was not a part of this club, of course. She was a part of Bakar Club at that time. But she has been the winner. So you can contest the, uh, contact these people regarding the contest as well. So we all are around you, not like zombies, of course, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like helpers over here. So we are there, and now as seniors, we are already moving to our other roles. But we are there with this club and we would like you to hold the baton. Just experiment new things, staying within the game. No one is stopping you, no one is doing this. Just, just put your thoughts across in the group that we want to implement this from this week. Go ahead. We won't be stopping you with that at all. So as I said, staying in line like the first step would be the contest. The other would be the TNTP training that would be happening in July around third week or second week, I guess. The club officers training. So there you will get to network with people from the entire district levels. So network with them, talk to them, ask them queries. Even if you trouble them, it's okay. They are not going to complain to anyone. Ask them as many questions as you want. No problem at all. It's an open forum. People are there to ask, answer you. And if you want to get prepared yourself for the next XCOM or taking notes, our upcoming XCOM is very, very friendly, so you can connect with them. Yeah. And we can even have a buddy system, wherein if the VP membership is not there, if somebody of you want to be a VP membership, you can take the role in the VP. Yes. Or you can even take the VP in the VP. And that's it. So, the person is background. Next time we want four VP memberships standing up over here, like what for me, what for me, and what for me. <laughs> and we will be a good for me, present standing up. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. And okay, okay. So hello, everyone, and I would like to say a happy new beginning to all of us. And again, why this is a new beginning? 
this is not just a startup new term but this is start a new year for the entire toastmasters and i'm sure this new uh, beginning new uh, new term will bring new challenges and learning not only for the excom but also for all the members and as we all know challenges make us better as a speaker as a individual and i will definitely like to say thank you to the um, current excom for their work and they have done tremendous dtm minal and the entire team they have continued the legacy of the energetic toastmasters meeting they have managed to uh, organize so many different events they have managed the transition from the online meeting to the hybrid meeting they have managed to uh, build so many confident leaders and speakers and definitely we feel privileged to carry forward the same uh, legacy as a handover and now uh, to introduce again we have our sajar atam toastmaster mayur mayuresh uh, our treasurer will be toastmaster abhishek toastmaster insia will be the secretary uh, toastmaster asutosh will be the vp pr toastmaster mayur is our vp membership toastmaster santonu will be the vp uh, education and dtm minal will be our immediate past president and we will make sure that we will continue the same energetic meeting throughout to the next term and yeah our team has already embarked on the journey and definitely will need all your help and you will be surprised how much help you will get in return as a most better speaker in the toastmasters over to dtm menel president toastmaster abhishek yes we all are there and we will work together towards our next goals on the individual as well as the club level and now i would request everyone in the online board as well to switch on their camera so that we can have a good photo <laughs> Uh, Abhishek, you can take the picture, right? Uh, actually, I'm in my mobile. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me just a minute. Are you using your laptop? Hello, yes, yes, I'm using. So, will it be possible for you to take a group picture, a screenshot, basically? First. Uh, Let me try first. Yeah. Just change the view to the gallery mode. Okay. Now, uh, do we have any guest in the online board for the feedback? Do we have any guest in the online? No, no, no. Okay. 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 With this, I adjourn the meeting and pass on the pattern to our upcoming XCOM. And eagerly awaiting the next presidential address from Toastmaster Abhishek for the next six months. Thank you. All the best from all of us. Tayonar. Thank you so much, everyone.